Okay, so let's talk about your autofocus points. This is really, really important. This is as important as metering because right now you probably got your camera set up so it's got multiple points of focus so you point a subject, it's gonna randomly pick where it wants to focus. You need to set it up so that you can use the little wheel or the little knob, whatever you have in the back of your camera to move a single focus point around because you have all those focus points in the camera and you wanna be able to tell the camera this is where I want to focus from because if you, have, if you have multiple ones, once again, it's going to look for the easiest way to focus and it uses contrast. That might be a tree in the background. Um, so if you're in a multiple uh, spot mode, it's going to actually pick the easiest spot. So you might want to focus on the person in front of you and it's going to pick the tree in the background and it's really, really frustrating. So what you want to do is set it up and on Canon you hit the little button on the back here, there's a little button you hit and then it'll allow you to pick the spot. Nikon it's a little different, um, I'll be showing some graphics here to let you uh, see where that's at on each camera. Uh, with Nikon and Canon it's just slightly different. But you use the little focus spots then to move it around in your camera and so let's say you've got me, I'm on the right hand side, let's see, oh let, excuse me, left hand side of your frame. Um, so if you use a center focus spot, it's going to focus on the background. So what you want to do um, is use a focus spot that's focused on me, lock in the focus, and you're good to go. And the reason you want to do that, like if you go back to the last lesson, when I had that shot of the girl that just her front eye was in focus, okay, if you look, if this is her face and this is a camera, just by me moving up to here, remember the depth of field was just barely the front of her eye, by coming up with a center focus spot and then recomposing, the, her eye would be out of focus. So I used a focus spot that was as close to her eye as possible with very little movement and then you lock in the focus and you're good to go. Now let's go back to little Johnny running down the uh, soccer field again. Okay, let's call, let's say little Susie this time. Let's, you know, be PC here, do both. So little Susie's running down. Okay, you want to get a shot of her and the ball, right? You don't want just hers, you want to have the ball that she's kicking in front of her. So you're going to have her on probably the right hand side of the frame. So you use your focus spot on the right hand side of the frame in servo mode or continuous. You lock, her, lock onto her and just follow her down the field and as long as you keep that spot on her, it's going to focus. So there you go, that's how you use your focus spots and we'll be back.